Hello everyone, welcome to my civil engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe to it and hit the bell icon to get notified when I post my new videos. Today I'll be discussing regarding how to analyze a continuous beam using moment distribution method. So this is a lecture series wherein the, uh, it is a, a continued version of analysis of a continuous beam as in my previous lecture series in concern I had analyzed a continuous beam uh, by taking a numerical as an example. So in this lecture series I am going to uh, explain with an another numerical uh, and also uh, I'll be I'll be explaining how to draw the uh, bedding moment diagram, elastic curve as well as shear force diagram. So here uh, you can just observe a sketch here of a beam, continuous beam here. So wherein A, B, C and D are the supports and A, B is a span of 6 meters length and subjected to uniformly distributed load of 25 kN per meter. So B, C is a span of 2 meter, 2 meter and 2 meters. So totally it is 6 meters length uh, which is subjected to 2 point load condition. So next uh, C, D is a span wherein it is... Uh, having the span of uh, length equal to 4 meters and subjected to uniformly varying load of uh, magnitude equal to 75 kilo newton per meter at D and 0 at C. So since it is uniformly, uniformly varying load, so uh, it varies from 0 to 75. So that is 0 at C and uh, 75 kilo newton per meter at D. So uh, as in uh, the analysis of a continuous beam is concerned, so the first step is calculation of extent moments here. So if I just take the span AB. So in case of AB span, so we need to find out the fixed end moment. So MFAB is equal to fixed end moment at AB span. So since, uh, since it is loaded with a uniformly distributed load, so the fixed end moment is equal to WL square divided by 12. So since I'm going from left hand side of the span, so it is taken as negative. So it is minus WL square by 12. So here W is 25 kN per meter. So L is equal to 6 meters. So 25 into 6 square divided by 12. So the overall fixed end moment for AB is equal to 75 kN meter with the negative sign. So similarly, uh, MFBA, fixed end moment at BA. So it is a positive variation of uh, the fixed end moment at AB. So it is equal to W plus WL square by 12. So it is nothing but plus 75 kN meter. So next, coming on to the next uh, span, that is span BC. So here, uh, you can just observe that there are two point loads. Uh, wherein uh, the, uh, the distance between the two uh, ends are same. Okay. So in this condition, in this condition, I just take first uh, load as uh, 50 kN for the left hand side and second load as 50 kN of right, from the right hand side. So for this first load of 50 kN, uh, so I just take 2 meter as A and this 4 meter as B. So for first 50 kN, so I just take this 2 meter as A and 4 meter as B. So if I only take this 50 kN, uh, that is uh, first 50 kN, so I can consider it as a point load with eccentric distance. So the variation of fixed end moment will be equal to WAB square divided by L square. So since it is uh, uh, going from left side, so it is taken as negative. So I just substitute here. So 50 into A as I said it as 2 meters and B it is equal to 4 meters. So divided by overall uh, length is equal to 6 square. So 50 into 2 into 4 square divided by 6 square will be the uh, fixed end moment for the first 50 kN load. So coming on to the next 50 kN load that is second 50 kN load for this uh, the value of A will be equal to uh, 4 meter and B is equal to 
2 meters. So for this A is equal to 4 meters and B is equal to 2 meters. So with that uh, condition, so the again the formula remains the same uh, since it is uh, eccentric uh, point load. Uh, so the formula will be uh, W A B square divided by L square with a negative variation. So in this case W is 50. Uh, a will be 4 and uh, B is equal to 2 meters. So for, uh, 50 into 4 into 2 square divided by uh, L square. L square is equal to 6 square. So the overall uh, value will be equal to uh, 66.67 kilonewton meter. So similarly, uh, if I just consider uh, the fixed end moment at CB, if I just consider the fixed end moment at CB, so the formula will be for each uh, uh, for each point load uh, uh, should be considered separate, separately, so that the each point load consideration will be will be an eccentric point load condition. So that the value of the load from the right hand side it is equal to plus W B A square divided by L square. So this should be positive. So this is also should be positive. So plus W B A square divided by L square. So if I just substitute the values as per the A and B values for the respective uh, load and concern. So I again get the value of C B M F C B as uh, plus 66.67 kilonewton meter. So this is all about the calculation of fixed end moment for CB span in concern. So next coming on to the next span that is uh, span CD. As in case of span CD, it is loaded with a uniformly varying load. So whenever it is um, subjected to the uniformly varying load, so from if we, if we go from the left hand side of the support, then the value of the fixed end moment is taken as W L square divided by 30. So the W L square divided by 30. So W here is uh, 75. L here is taken as 4. So W in uh, 75 into 4 square divided by 30 with a negative variation. So therefore, uh, M F C D is equal to minus 40 kilonewton meter. So similarly, if I just consider the uh, M fixed end moment for DC, so W L square divided by 20, it is a positive variation. So the value will be W L square divided by 20 from the right hand side. So W is 75 and L is 4. So 75 into 4 square divided by 20. So the value is taken as plus 60 kilonewton meter plus 60 kilonewton meter so this is all about the calculation of fixed end moments so coming on to the next step that is determination of distribution factors so this is the uh, overall table so you can just observe uh, uh, yeah, the sketch here the uh, the beam wherein uh, a and d are the fixed ends so a and d are the fixed ends so B and C are considered to be as joints. So uh, overall uh, continuous beam in concern. So there will be two joints. There will be two joints. One is joint B and another one is joint C. So if I just take joint B in concern. So I need to find out uh, uh, how many members are passing from B as origin. So here if I just see the sketch here. So B is the joint wherein B A and BC are the two members which are passing through B with B as origin. So I just repeat it. So B is a joint wherein BA and BC are the two members with B as origin. So there are two members with B as origin, BA and BC. So if I want to calculate the relative stiffness, so relative stiffness is nothing but the ratio of moment of inertia to that of the uh, span here. So since um, uh, in case of BA with uh, member BA with B as a joint, so A is the farther end. So A is the farther end with BA as member and B as a joint. So if A, if the farther end is fixed, so if the farther end is fixed, so the relative stiffness will be equal to I by L as per our previous lecture series we had uh, uh, explained regarding the 
relative uh, stiffness for various cases. So with that reference, so I can consider the relative stiffness value for BA as I by L. So since it is a uh, since the farther end is fixed. So in this in such case, I divide by say uh, I divide by L. I is uh, same throughout. So L here is six. So the relative stiffness is equal to I by six. So relative stiffness is equal to I by six. So similarly. For BC span in concern, so for BC span uh, in concern with B as origin and C as a farther end, so with B as a origin and uh, C as a farther end, C is a continuous uh, support. So as in case of continuous support, the relative stiffness again is equal to I by L itself. So I remains throughout as same as it is. So L is equal to six meters. So therefore, the relative stiffness is equal to I by six. So therefore, if I want to find out the total relative stiffness, so it is summation of BA plus BC for joint B as in concern. So therefore, I by six plus I by six. So it is equal to I by six. So distribution factor for joint B for the respective members is nothing but the relative stiffness divided by the total relative stiffness. So relative stiffness for BA with the joint B is I by six. So divided by two I by six. So I'll get as 0.5 and 0.5 for uh, uh, both the members. So similarly, if I just consider joint C as uh, uh, joint C as origin. So CB and CD are the two members. So I just consider joint C as origin with CB and CD as the two members. So with joint C as origin and CB and CD as the two members. So I just consider CB first. So B is a farther end for the member CB. Uh, so B is B is the continuous uh, support here. So as in case of continuous support, the relative stiffness is equal to I by L. So I by L is the relative stiffness. So therefore uh, L here is equal to six meters. So therefore it is I by six itself. So I by six. So similarly for CD uh, span, for CD span, so C is the uh, uh, so origin and D is the farther end and the span is equal to 4 meters. So you can just observe D is the uh, farther end wherein the, it is fixed in nature. So therefore, the value is equal to I by L. So L here is equal to 4 meters. So therefore, I by 4, the relative stiffness for CD is equal to I by 4. So therefore, in order to find out the total relative stiffness, so it is equal to the summation of I by 6 and I by 4. So if I do that, I will get the value as 5I by 12. So 5I by 12. Uh, then in order to find out the distribution factor, I need to divide uh, K by sigma K for each member with a respective join in concern. So therefore, I will get uh, with uh, reference to that, I will get the values of distribution factor for CB as 0 0.4 and CD as 0 0.6. So CD as 0 0.6. So next coming on to the next step that is moment distribution table formation. So which is a very important uh, step here. So first uh, is the member. So in the member, you will uh, you are supposed to write DAB. B A B C C C B C D and D C. So with B and C are the joints, uh, the respective distribution factor should be entered. So for B A we have got it as 0.5 and 0.5. So B C uh, so C B we have got as 0.4 and C D as 0.6. So first step is uh, writing down the uh, fixed end moments what we have calculated in the very first step of this lecture series. So here in the fixed end moments AB as uh, uh, minus 75, BA is plus 75. So uh, BC is minus 66.67, CD is plus 66.67, CD is minus 40 and DC is plus 60. So with all this, I need to calculate what is the balance here. 
so in order to find out the unbalanced moment and in order to find out the distribution um, moments with reference to the distribution factor in concern so first i need to take the joint b first so for joint b there are two members ba and bc here so in ba and bc i need to add the fixed end moment of ba and bc first so it is 75 minus 66.67 if i add i'll get some amount of uh, the moment so that moment should be multiplied with 0.5 so that i will get what is the amount uh, what is the value so that value is equal to 4 minus 4.16 that value is equal to minus 4.16 i just repeat it so i need to uh, i need to take a joint that is joint b so for that joint b ba and bc are the two members so i need to add the moments uh, of uh, ba and bc so if i add that i will get the total unbalanced moment so which is uh, with reference to b this was uh, the positive value of the unbalanced moment so in order to counteract that unbalanced moment so i need to uh, i need to make it as a uh, uh, i need to make the distribution moments as negative so in order to counteract that unbalanced positive moment so therefore the total moment which i have got by adding 75 and minus 66.67 for that total moment i need to multiply with this distribution factor with this respective distribution factor so that i will get an answer that is nothing but uh, 4.16 with the negative variation so similarly uh, with the joint c uh, uh, with the cb and cd as the respective members i have the fixed end moments as 66.67 and minus 40 so if i add that uh, I'll get the value as uh, plus 26.67. So that 26.67 should be uh, is a positive uh, unbalanced moment. So that positive unbalanced moment should be uh, contracted with the negative uh, um, moments. So in order to balance the uh, moment. So for that I need to um, distribute that moments with reference to the distribution factors. So that 26.67, if I just multiply with 0.4, I will get it as 10.66 with a negative sign convention. And again, if I just multiply that 26.67 into 0.6, I will get it as a minus 16. So this is all about the balance calculation. So next thing is that I need to uh, do the carryover for the next corresponding support of that span. So here I have got as 4.16 with a negative sign. So for that I need to carry out, carry over the half the moment that is minus 4.16 divided by 2 with the same sign convention. So I have got here as minus 2.08. So similarly here uh, 4.16 I need to carry out, um, uh, carry over the half value that is equal to minus 2.08 with the same sign convention. So similarly, 10.66 divided by 2, it is uh, 5.33 with the same negative variation. So next thing uh, is that 16, I have got it here. So if I just um, carry out that, um, uh, I will get it as minus 8. So minus 8. So this is a value uh, which I have got here. So the next thing is uh, I need to balance the moments. So I need to balance the moments. So here I have got here as 5.33 with a negative sign. So this minus 5.33 is unbalanced moment. So it which has to be again distributed with a positive uh, uh, moments here. So minus 5.33 into 0.5 is equal to 2.66 and 2.66 with a positive variation so similarly uh, i have uh, here 2.08 so this 2.08 multiplied by 0 0.4 and 0 0.6 i will get the uh, since it is a negative variation so uh, the distributed moment should be in the positive so next step is after uh, distributing the unbalanced moment uh, so I need to carry out this uh, ba um, balanced moment. So 2.66 divided by 2 it is 
plus 1.33 the same same sign should be carried out uh, carried over so again 2.66 divided by 2 it is again 1.33 here so again 0.83 divided by 2 it is uh, 0.41 and 1.24 divided by 2 is uh, 0.62 similarly next step is uh, again i need to um, i need to balance that so here i have uh, 0 0.41 in the bc member so that 0 0.41 should be again distributed um, in both the members so uh, the i need to multiply that with the distribution factors here so 0 0.41 divided by uh, multiplied by uh, 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 so i'll get as minus 0 0.2 and minus 0 0.2 since uh, 0 0.41 is a positive value in order to counteract that i have to do the um, i have to make it as a negative value so similarly here in case of uh, cb i have uh, the uh, unbalanced moment as 1.33 wherein i need to um, i need to share or distribute it uh, um, uh, among the member cb and cd uh, with reference to uh, distribution factor so distribution factor i have uh, for uh, cb as 0 0.4 uh, that multiplied by 1.33 if i do then i will get uh, minus 0 0.53 and uh, minus 0 0.8 with uh, which is multiplied with that of uh, 0 0.6 so next again i need to carry uh, carry out so uh, the half the moment here so 0 0.2 divided by 2 it is minus 0 0.1 so again minus 0 0.1 so minus 0 0.53 divided by 2 it is minus uh, uh, 0 0.26 again 0.8 divided by 2 is 0 0.4 the same steps to be followed until i get the uh, least degree of the uh, values so here after getting all this so i need to sum up uh, from starting from the fixed end moments till the last balanced um, moment so if i just do that i will get the value of total moment at tab as minus 75.79 uh, and uh, BA as 73.42 minus 73.42, CB as um, 55.53, CD minus 55.53, and DC as 52.25. So the next step is determination of the maximum bedding moment here. So as in case of uh, determination of maximum bedding moment, so as in case of span um, AB in concern, so AB is uh, uh, subjected to the uniformly distributed load. So wherein the value is taken as WL square by 8. So W here is 25. L is equal to 6 meters. So W 25 into 6 square divided by 8. It is equal to 112.5 kilonewton meter. So similarly for span BC. So for span BC it is subjected to two point loading condition which is uh, in which the span is equidistributed. So in such cases so it uh, the value will be equal to W into A wherein A is nothing but the equidistant uh, uh, the equidistant uh, uh, length. So here you can just observe that uh, uh, between B to first 50 kN it is uh, same 2 meters so 50 and 50 again it is 2 meters so again 50 and uh, c it is 2 meters so that equidistant uh, span length is taken as a so this is only uh, when the, it is subjected to two point loading with uh, uh, equidistant uh, uh, length which is subjected to the equidistant length so in such cases the, the uh, maximum bending moment is taken as w into the equidistant uh, length so w into a so that is uh, 50 into 2 so similarly for span cd so you can just observe as in case of span cd it is subjected to the uniformly varying load so whenever when the uh, structural element is subjected to uniformly varying load so at some distance you will have the maximum bending moment so that distance is always yeah, is taken as CX. So that is always 0.577 times of L. So at 0.577 uh, times of length, 
you will have the maximum bedding moment for uniformly varying load in concern so it is equal to 0.577 uh, into l here is 4 meters so therefore at 2.3 meters from point c you will have the maximum bedding moment so after finding the length of the maximum bedding moment you are supposed to find out what is the maximum bedding moment value so that is always for the uniformly varying load it is 0.06415 times of wl square 0.06415 times of wl square so if i just substitute that i will get the value as 76.98 kilonewton meter 76.98 kilonewton meter i need to remember this 0.06415 wl square so coming on to the next step that is uh, finding the reactions so here I have the four supports wherein at support A also there is a one vertical reaction, one horizontal reaction and a moment. So similarly at uh, D one horizontal, one vertical and a moment. So here uh, uh, horizontal reaction at A and D uh, will be contracted. So it will be cancelled each other. So I will be uh, interested in finding the uh, vertical uh, reaction here. So, I just take the equilibrium condition as algebraic sum of all the vertical uh, reaction is taken as zero. That is, uh, as per my sign convention, the upward facing uh, forces are taken as positive and downward uh, direction forces are taken as negative. So, with this sign convention, I just proceed that VA plus VB plus VC plus VD is equal to 25 into 6 25 into 6 so 25 load into the um, the span to which it is acting so plus 50 plus 50 and um, for a triangular or uniformly varying load so the reaction is taken as area of the triangle so it is uh, 0.5 times or half into base into height so half into very uh, base here is 4 meters so height here is 75 so if I just take that, uh, uh, if I just solve this, I'll get it as 400 kilonewton. So next, I just take the moment uh, about B is equal to zero here. So I just take the moment about B is equal to zero from A, so from the side A in concern. So if I only take uh, with uh, uh, A B as a span, with uh, if I just take A B as a span with uh, b uh, is a point of the moment to be calculated so sigma mb is equal to zero so clockwise moments i am going to take it as positive and anti-clockwise moment i am going to take it as negative so va into 6 is a clockwise so it is positive so 25 into 6 into 6 by 2 so it is uh, anti-clockwise hence it is negative and apart from this uh, apart from this uh, I have uh, M, M, A, B and M, B, A. So, moment which is acting at joint, uh, um, at joint A, uh, I mean at member A, B, I mean at, at support A and at also support B. So, wherein uh, I, at the support A it is taken as negative that is uh, uh, which has been solved by using the moment distribution table itself. So, same way you are supposed to um, you are supposed to write it with the same way itself. So minus 75.79 plus 73.72 uh, is equal to 0. So therefore, if I just calculate that VA will be equal to 75.39 kilonewton. So similarly, uh, if I just take the moment about C is equal to 0. So at C um, with, uh, with the CD as the with CD as a uh, member with C as a uh, the point where moment is equal to zero. So clockwise is taken as positive and anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative. So VD into four, VD into four is a anti-clockwise moment and hence it is taken as negative. So 150, 150 into 2.66 and uh, uh, 150 into 2.66 is the half into base into height into the centroidal distance. So from C, so central distance from C is two third of the base. So therefore, uh, it is uh, 
150 into 2.66 the overall value and then the fixed end moments at c and d i have got it as uh, minus 55.53 and 52.25 which i am supposed to write it with the same way itself so if i just equate to the zero so i will get value of vd as 98.93 kilonewton so similarly again i am supposed to take the moment about b so but here uh, this time i am going to take with uh, bc as a span so with bc as a span with b as uh, the or uh, the moment point so i need to calculate what is the uh, bending moment so and then i need to equate to zero so with b as the point of uh, moment uh, equating to zero and bc as a span so uh, vc uh, while taking the uh, clockwise moments as positive and anti clockwise moments as negative so vc into 6 vc into 6 it is a uh, negative variation so plus uh, 50 into 8.66 plus 50 into 4 and then uh, 50 in um, 50 into 4 plus 50 into 2 and then uh, 73.42 plus 55.33 and again minus 55.33 and 52.25 so if i just add all this and equate that to zero i'll get vc as uh, 98.08 kilonewton so after getting all these values if i just substitute this react uh, in the first equation here so i will get what is the value of vd so vb vb so vb is equal to 127.6 kilonewton so these are the reaction which i have got so after finding the reaction and bending moment uh, bending moment I am supposed to uh, sketch the SFD and BMD here. So SFD, uh, I just draw the baseline first. So this is the baseline. Um, and then um, for AB, BA, BC and CD, what all the moments I have got by using the moment distribution table, I need to plot it uh, above the baseline. And then after plotting above the baseline, since I have got for AB as 75.77, 73.42 for BA and uh, um, uh, and then BC, uh, uh, CB and CD. So after getting all this, so as I uh, found out the, um, the uh, bending moment, maximum bending moment, so I need to uh, include with in the same sketch itself. So 112.5 is the maximum moment which I have got for uh, AB beam. So since it is a uniformly distributed load, it is taken as a parabolic variation. So second is a 100 kilonewton meter. So since it is a two point load, it is taken as a trapezoidal variation. And again, uh, for CD, it is a uniformly varying load. So it is uh, this is taken as a uh, uh, cubic variation, cubic variation. So it is again, it is shown as a curve itself. So next is, uh, uh, this is the shear force diagram which is drawn with the respective reactions at A I have got it as 75.39. So at B I have uh, uh, the VB value I have got it as uh, 127.6. So 127.6 if I want to plot. So 75.39, uh, 75.39 minus, uh, minus, uh, uh, 25 into 6 if I do I will get the value as uh, 74.61 so plus um, uh, 50 uh, plus one uh, the VB value if I do that I will get what is the value of uh, the so 52.99 I will get and again uh, minus 50 so it is uh, 2.99 so again uh, for 2.99 if I get, uh, if I just uh, make it as minus 50 again, so 47.01 and similarly 51.07 and 98.93. So again, uh, this will be the elastic curve. This is a variation of the elastic curve for the uh, respective uh, continuous beam in concern. Thank you for watching.